I want to welcome you back to Black Sign tonight. We're going to talk about George Floyd and the symbolism that has been shown across America. First, I'd like for you to hit that like button. Also, hit that subscribe button. And if you'd like to make a donation, go to PayPal. George Floyd and the symbolism after his death has been disgusting, if you ask me. You have seen many a companies come out, Amazon, Netflix, Best Buy, Target. You have also seen in the political realm, the Democrat Party, Joe Biden, Nancy Pelosi, and the CBC wearing Kente cloth. You have also seen in the media those talking about racism and discrimination across America and using symbolism. But I would like to ask you a very simple question. Where was these people three weeks ago? America has had these problems for 400 years and no one was left or even wanted to hear what we had to say. It took one man's death at a particular time in history, which is 2020, for everybody to come out in unison and say we have a problem. Now you see states get rid of the Confederate flag. You see NASCAR saying the Confederate flag is no longer needed. You see Webster's wanting to change racism, the definition in the dictionary. You see all these different changes because of George Floyd. But if somebody really cared about the plight of black men and black women in America, they would have did it when no one else was looking. This all seems to be like a setup. Basically, it's a political year, and you have businesses who actually could care less. And what I'm trying to say right now, it's all about dollars to them. Let's keep the mob away. Let's keep everyone away. So what we'll do, we'll make a donation. We'll, we'll speak out against racism, but nothing will change. See, many of you have to understand this. You have politicians out here like Joe, Jim Crow, Biden, or you can call it Jim the Bigot Biden, whatever you want to call Joe Biden. Where was Joe Biden two, three years ago? You didn't hear him speaking about black men. He could care less about black men because he passed that crime bill. And like I said, where was all these companies when it comes to hiring black men before George Floyd? We had a high unemployment rate. Look at the city of Chicago, 60 70 percent black male unemployment. But now everybody's taking a knee. Everybody is apologizing. People are wailing in the street about racism. But we must not get caught up in symbolism because symbolism doesn't feed families. Symbolism doesn't give you generational wealth. All it does is placate you for a period of time in history. And that's what white people are actually doing. Change, yes, you may get some police reform, but does that really help our financial situation? No, it does not. See, you have people out here right now who are basically taking advantage of the situation. Do you think Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, and Joe Biden care about George Floyd? All they care about is that they can piggyback off of his death the power that they can receive if the Democrats are elected in the House, Senate, and the presidency. But I would like to ask everyone this one question. And it's a very simple question that needs to be answered. Black people have voted. And everybody's telling us to vote. You see, Hollywood's telling us to vote. The entertainment, the music industry telling us to vote. Sports athletes telling us to vote. But we voted in all these Democrat cities. Baltimore, we got Freddie Gray. Minneapolis, we got George Floyd. New York City, we got Eric Garner. 
See what I'm trying to say? We voted, and we voted Democrat, and we got police brutality and death after voting for these Democrats. So we must do it again with no insurances. It won't happen again. See, it's a 2020 election year. And after November 4th, when Joe Biden possibly wins, and the Democrats win everything, watch George Floyd name and his murals go away because they will no longer need him to get their power. This is a sad state in America today. When black people are falling for the game once again. See, we're playing checkers. They're playing chess. And all they care about is what they can get out of George Floyd. And it's definitely, I repeat, it's definitely not improving the lives of black men and black women, women in America because it didn't happen when all those gentlemen I repeated earlier died. And it damn sure ain't going to happen again. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button and share this video.